Hey, this is Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm at Ballet West Academy and I'm doing a point shoe fitting here for the Academy dancers for the pre-professional division. And I'm with Stella. We're gonna be looking at uh, point shoe fitting for short toes and short feet. So we're gonna look at your beautiful feet. If you look at my hand in comparison to her feet, it's pretty much the same size. So <laughs> we're looking at short toes and short feet. Can you tell them to also come for me? So this is actually a little bit of a difficult fit for um, short toes and short feet because usually for shorter toes, I need to have a shorter vamp, but because Stella is so flexible like this, we need a longer vamp to kind of keep your foot inside the shoe. So we have to do a longer vamp, which prevents you from rolling through all the way, but we still need that for the extra support. Can you go back into first position, Tom, to your other foot? Gorgeous. So we're gonna be looking at those and whenever I'm fitting a really flexible, really beautiful foot, it's actually more difficult to find a correct fit because their feet shrink so much from flat to point. She is wearing a pretty thin toe pad. So can I show them your toe pad? This is called a pro pad. So it's pretty short, but it's only thin at the top and uh, thin at the bottom and it's thicker at the top. So she really doesn't have too much padding there so I can keep her closer to her shoes. Okay, and if you look at her toes, can you point for me? If you look at her toes, her toes are pretty short as well. It's still pretty proportionate to the rest of her foot, but it is quite short, so I wanna keep that in mind. So I'm gonna have you put on um, your studios first. So Stella works through two different types of point shoes. Uh, same brand, but one is the studios, and the other one is a classic. Now, generally speaking, the classic, they don't last as long, so she rotates between the two of them, but I'm sure it's easier for you to point in the classics, right? Yeah. They're easier to break through. <laughs> so do you usually use the classics for like performances and? Yeah, I use them when I need a shoe like fast and I don't have time to break it in, so then I can just wear them for a show. Mm -hmm. So you can always rotate between two different types of point shoes, one for rehearsal, one for, one for shows. Um, because you are going to probably need a workhorse shoe to get you through all of those classes and rehearsals and something that will look really pretty and be really quiet on stage for your performance shoe. So the studios actually last a couple weeks more than the classics. If I look at these shoes, um, they're not bending as much in the metatarsal right here and a lot of it has to do with the vamp length. So it's a little bit, it comes up a little bit longer and it comes up about half of the foot, but she looks really supportive in this shoe. So I really like this for class. Roll down for me and then parallel, releve. And another thing that I'm noticing with her feet is that because the, the studios are slightly more tapered than the classics that she's currently in, um, her foot is kind of bubbling over the shoe. So if I look at it from the side, um, I do see her foot popping out just a tiny bit, as opposed to the classics that are a little bit more broad at the base so that her foot is more uh, inside the shoe. So she's in the widest width. She's only in a size three and a half, and she's in the 3X, which is the widest. But these are already worn once, and we'll see what this looks like. So the studios, as, as you can see, pulled her back a tiny bit because the crown was a little bit lower and the vamp was a little bit longer. Um, even though the classic also looks like it comes up halfway up her foot, if you fold down the fabric, it only comes up um, to the end of her toes. So it's a pretty great shoe for um, breaking them in. So let's see what this looks like. So this is a classic pro. Bring your left foot up on point and then press up on both. Okay, so I can hear the shoe crackling. So she certainly is going to break them a lot faster. The studios have been worn quite a bit and then these aren't. So you can really see the difference between the two. Uh, parallel for me. So Stella is kind of a rare case where I do have to keep her in a longer vamp even though her toes are pretty short. Step up onto point because she is so flexible and you can see that she is nice and, and pulled up in the shoe, even though they're kind of broad. Can you go back out to first position? Step up onto point. And she fits the shoe really tight. So you're probably, you could probably wear a size four if you needed to, but for stage and for class, I think um, having something tight is prettier because there's less bagginess. Um, there's no twisting in the shoes, so that's good. Usually dancers with wider feet, they tend to twist in their point shoes, but you don't, so. That looks pretty good. Thank you so much for helping me, yeah, Stella. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>